Have you ever wondered who taught you how to fuss? You know, I was just talking to my husband, my husband the other day, if I can talk. I was, I was just talking to my husband the other day about fussing. You know, um, my oldest I had at 27, and now I'm hmm, 42, and I have a four-year-old, and I have a third, well, actually, no, she's 15 months now. Ooh, getting up there. And it's like, you know, who taught me to fuss, right? Like, I didn't go to mama's school to fuss, like, um, but maybe I did go to mama's school because my mama, she could fuss too, right? And it's like a rite of passage. I think when you have kids, you know, or, you know, you, uh, any type of children that you have to take care of, you learn how to fuss. And it's like, um, it's like one-on-one fussing school, right? And so I just want to know, like, who taught you to fuss? You know, because I think it was something that I learned through the experience of being fussed at. So what I'm proposing is there really isn't a process to fussing. It just, you know, it, it, it kind of is birthed out of you. You know, when you have the children, you know, you learn how to fuss. You become an expert in fussing. You become detailed in fussing. You know what you want to fuss about. You know how long you want to fuss about it. And you know to the degree the fussing needs to go. So I'll give you an example. You know, my teenager. Not fuss in the morning. I fuss in the middle of the day. Not fuss at night. And it's necessary it's necessary it's necessary because when I don't fuss people get a little bit scared in the house you know because they're like mama ain't talking why isn't mama talking you know I know when I was a kid I did not like when my mama was quiet because <laughs> I knew I was in some extra trouble like when she was quiet I know what she was thinking at least when she was fussing I know what she was thinking I knew the process something was gonna happen and she was gonna forget go to sleep or I was gonna have to pay the piper but ultimately when she got quiet what good you know so same thing in my house like people they know mama mad she ain't talking but when I'm fussing you know I don't think it's really good for me physically because I think my blood pressure goes up because I'm fussing you know but it's just something about this is a part of being a mom. So, you know, I'd like you to follow me, make a comment, please share this video, because I just like to get some type of data, you know, around all mothers. It doesn't matter what color you are, what age you are, but I truly believe that, you know, <laughs> when you become a mama, you learn to fuss. So, if you agree with me, <laughs> please give a comment. Be blessed.